Hello and How's it going? welcome to Ferris Esports. Uh, today we'll be, we'll be streaming uh, Rocket League. We'll be streaming the B team today. And they are playing against uh, University of Minnesota. So uh, who we got playing today, Oganator? Um, let me open up the roster real quick. I believe for Fair State's uh, gold team, we've got uh, Barber, Bobby, and Sodi Poppy. And I believe we also have Strafficker. Uh, do you know who the starting lineup is going to be today? Um, I believe for today it's going to be Strafficker, Bobby, and Sodi Poppy. And then we will wait and see who is starting. Minnesota. Looks like we are in the lobby. We're getting ready to go. Um, now, by any so chance, Ferris, have you? Oh, go ahead. I was say Ferris. Uh, at least the Ferris B team so far is one and zero on their season. Uh, last week, they the other team did not show up, so that one and zero is a forfeit win, but nevertheless a win. And so today they are facing another team who is also one and zero being that it is Swiss format. So we'll see if Ferris can uh, keep up with the competition today. Should be a close match. I heard the other team is all GCs. So we should expect to see some quick, solid gameplay from them. Yeah, I know we don't have um, any GCs over on the B team, but it is, you know, it's always a good experience for someone to be playing against another team of a higher rank. Um, and I know, you know, speaking personally, we were on the A team. We just played in the um, CRL uh, Open Qualifier just the other day. Mm -hmm. And some of the best Rocket League I've played and as a team um, as, as we've played, when we were playing um, a team that had somebody that was just way, you know, higher rank than all of us. And so it was it was really exciting to see that just when you have someone on the other team that'll push you to the limits, you'll um, you'll play some really good Rocket League. Yeah, that's definitely true. It's uh, I, I always think that new players coming in learn a lot more by playing with people who are higher level than them. Exactly. And as we're getting to this match, it looks like Minnesota has uh, and I must say that quick player. Uh, E-Man has the third. And so... So starting off, it looks like uh, Minnesota's going to get a quick goal here. Uh, just yes. off the sidewall and the finish. Yep, looks like we just need a couple more rotations here. I'm sure they'll kind of pick up on this as we move along. Kickoff's looking pretty good, though. Um, as far as Ferris goes, we are at least matching them when it comes to the kickoffs. Good play. See if someone's there to put it in. Reset. Minnesota coming up with the attack. Looking a little awkward from both teams as we set up a nice little floater in front of the blue net here. They're going to push it back towards Ferris State's side. A lot of um, a lot of big hits coming out, but I don't see a whole lot of controlling going on for either team actually. Yeah, it's looking like a lot of banging it back and forth. Uh, some uncomfortable defense for them, for sure. Yeah, I would agree. So, Ferris State making another push over here. It looks like Minnesota is just kind of not quite where they should be at all times. Ferris is a nice shot and a score. Yeah, nice play here from Ferris. Uh, the Minnesota defense kind of in shambles. Uh, it seems like... Uh, some miscommunication from them as to who's supposed to go for the ball, and Ferris is able to capitalize on it and tie this game up. Here we go, 1-1, 3.23 on the clock. Minnesota takes off the kickoff, heading towards Ferris State's end.
Yeah, I know uh, one thing about this uh, Ferris team that I know is uh, as they get scored on here, unfortunately. But I was I was gonna say they they definitely they're definitely hard workers. They've been putting in the hours together, practicing, and so you know the, you know the comms are there, the team chemistry is there, and in a setting like this, that can take you a long way because uh, you never know this this other team maybe they don't have that same kind of uh, team chemistry and communication and that can make a big difference you can take down teams that sh on paper should be better than you just because you have better communication team chemistry right. if the team play is there man you can I'll just second that up and I've seen them over in the discord call almost it seems like every day I see their team and they're playing together and if you just give a quick join into their um, in their voice chat you'll you just hear comms all left and right. So they are obviously putting in the, the work and the time to, um, I guess, put another step forward towards teamwork. And like you said, that's, you know, teamwork can really outshine um, a few good players if they're not playing well together. Yeah, that's for sure. And as we know, threes is uh, it's all about rotations, playing smart. You don't have to be super mechanical. Even though mechanics do help, it's uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> always comes does down to yeah, yeah, it comes down yeah, to positioning um, and rotations, honestly. Yeah, Ferris holding on on defense here. It seems like uh, Minnesota has had the the biggest chunk of offense here in the last minute or so, but uh, Ferris breaks out here, and uh, maybe they can start putting some pressure on. Yep, and that might be where we um, see the biggest problem that Ferris State's going to handle in this uh, match is that Minnesota's really just keeping the pressure nonstop. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, and you just see that when Ferris State's come over to the offensive side, um, the rotations are there, but the accurate hard shots that you're looking for to put them in the net are just, ah, eh, could be better. Yeah, they're getting they're getting touches on the ball, but they're not all quality touches, I guess. So right. they're kind of just throwing it away back to Minnesota or not really hitting it towards a teammate, just where you really want to be hitting those. And some of that comes down to nerves and maybe they're playing at a faster speed than they're used to as Minnesota gets another goal here. Uh, looks like yeah, it looks like just a uh, little, little bit unlucky there. Sodi Poppy yeah, hitting it straight guard. into Haley's car and yeah this game uh, you know it's not too far out of hand it's only two goals down they could still uh, bring it back right here I was gonna say I know they got scored on right there but they are holding their own on defense um, it just seems like you know, after a while the pressure of constantly being shot on eventually gets to you yeah and uh, yeah hopefully you know, with time running down here, hopefully they can at least get one more goal to boost their confidence a little bit going into the next game. Right. And yeah, like just the just like I was me. saying before. Yeah, it seems like they're getting those touches, but they're not quite the powerful, booming clears that you'd want to get. So Minnesota is able to hold on on offense, even with Ferris getting a clear or two. And as the clock expires, uh, Minnesota will be taking the first game in this series, which is a best of five. They held on pretty good. I will say they've got a couple things to work on is, you know, as we mentioned before, the rotations um, could just be a spot better and the, the clears can be a little bit stronger. But overall, I feel like they're doing a really good job so far as holding um, down a team who. I haven't checked myself, but possibly are you know quite higher ranked than they are. Yeah, definitely nothing too terrible by any means. Um, I don't, I didn't think I saw a lot of double commits out of them at least, and that's that's a good sign. Um, I think they just need to be a little more proactive on their defense. It seems like a lot of the time they're kind of waiting for the ball to get to them instead of going out and attacking that ball and taking it away from their opponents. Because you can't play defense right. all game. You got to get something going on. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and that might just be the confidence thing as they're taking hits and um, you know, you just kind of like, oh man, when's it gonna end? If you can't make it clear, and then you're just struggling. But um, all it takes is one good hit to get a clear, and 
um, there you are back on offense and looking for a reason to score. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this Minnesota team doesn't look unbeatable by any means. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. Really, it was just solid pressure and rotations that kind of won them this game. Not a whole lot of like fantastic solo plays or anything. Right. So Ferris can definitely come back in this one. Yeah, I'd like to see what kind of adjustments they've made going forward. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're talking about that in between games and just, uh, you know, keeping the confidence up. You know, just because you lose one game doesn't mean you just give up entirely. You know, they're probably, right. they're, they're probably still having a good time in there. See, starting off the second game, they look pretty solid. Ah, they're getting scored on right here, and that, that's going to be another thing I feel... Um, might have a weakness in is the backboard reads or at least having somebody up on the backboard to stop that mm -hmm. yeah that backboard defense uh it's it's really important i feel like that's a big difference between say like a champ 2 lobby and a grand champ lobby is right. uh, realizing the importance of that backboard and you know having someone kind of lingering up there when you're on defense and uh, that, that's something Ferris could definitely improve on here. Uh, but they're getting some offense right now. And uh, a whiff from Haley might leave an opening for Ferris <laughs> to push on offense here. Let's see what they can do with it. Uh, it seems like they're they're still just giving some space to Minnesota. You'd think that was really a chance they could have capitalized on there. But And, uh, oh, a demo here. Not on Minnesota player, but on the Bears player, I guess. But the smoke screen seemed to throw things into chaos for a second. Things, things are going pretty even, I'd say, so far. Um, one thing I want to see from both teams, actually, is a little bit more... I don't want to say team play, but like when, when two players go up for it and the ball comes out, there doesn't really seem to be anybody there to capitalize on what happens afterwards yeah yeah there was a close opportunity there from Bobby he didn't quite get the shot off but it was a great pass in the middle and Ferris is actually keeping decent offense right now let's hope they can keep it up Bobby popping it up uh Sody right, right there, there. gets a shot but it's blocked yeah they're still they're still hitting it off the wall keeping it in the middle here Barber with that touch on the corner Bobby there to clean it up maybe he gets a shot here here he goes and yeah ricochets off a couple minnesota players and the game is tied up that was right a as good he was, bit of uh, offense right as he was going in to shoot that i was going to say they're doing a really good job um in this game of keeping offensive pressure once they get the ball on the other side of the field here yeah let's see if they can keep that up and uh I also noticed it seemed like they were keeping a pretty good control on the boost that time. Which is a huge factor when you're trying to maintain offensive pressure. You just keep getting those corner boost steals <laughs> and they make it th that much easier. Your opponents are going to be in an awkward spot. Looks like Ferris is getting a little low on... I know you were just saying that it looked a little low on boost. I saw him miss a couple there and get demoed. That's another good push though. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying this last week, too. I, I wish we had the fancy overlay that the RLCS has where we can <laughs> see all the players' boost amounts at any given time. And right. uh, that, that would make it a lot easier to know who's who's winning the boost battle. But, uh, yeah, things kind of uh, staying a lot in the midfield right now. Uh, no team really getting a ton of pressure. The that bump from Evan. Yeah. That, that was just going in. <laughs> That came out of nowhere. I thought for sure, I don't, you know, Ferris players in net and the bump and a backflip from Bobby as well. <laughs> it looks like he wasn't was expecting the bump. I, I thought the Minnesota player was going to uh, come down from the wall and either rotate out or kind of uh, turn more towards the ball, but instead went for the bump. And, and sometimes that's all it takes to get the ball in the net. Yeah, and it wasn't really your traditional bump either. Like, it wasn't coming in at full speed trying to right. anything. He, <laughs> he kind of just slowly drove into him and was... Yeah, yeah it was more of a harassment. Him out of the way. Yeah. But still a minute and a half left, only down by one goal. Uh, this game still looking pretty good for Ferris. 
And just as I say that, <laughs> yeah. Evan puts Caster's a really nice curse shot strikes top, again. Top right corner. That one's just gonna be hard <laughs> to save from anybody. Yeah, that was that was an all-in offense from Minnesota, and it definitely paid off. Minute and a half, three one, Minnesota. Starting off with a nice air dribble, but gets bumped by his own teammate. It looked like. Counter push, leaving the net open right here. And a well placed shot. Holy crap. Bowie's just smoking it into the net. That's yeah, a really, really good nice pass, pass from Sodi as well. Yeah, and that, that's that's some good power on that shot. If he shoots it a little lighter, that's probably getting saved. So, Ferris bring it back within one. And a good kickoff here. Kick this might go goal. in. Wow. It does. <laughs> See, that's all. We're right here, tied 3-3, three to three, the minute and 11 left. Yeah, this is looking good for Ferris. Game changes on a dime. Momentum swinging in their favor. Let's see what they do on this kickoff. Two we get goals another goal. real quick. I saw it going and towards the boot uh, net, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another good kickoff for Ferris. Let's hope they can keep this one in. That's a good clear downfield. That's always oh, on course, target. Actually. Had to be saved. And yeah, the Minnesota just is kind of scrambling right now. They didn't really attack that ball on offense. They were just trying to recover and get boost because that was, that was a good uh, start Another to the kickoff. One? This one might be on target. Not quite, but Bobby finishes it anyway. He just boost. slightly comes off the wall, misreads it off the wall, and leads Bobby an open net. A soft touch, puts it in. Four to three, Fair State. Yeah, just like that 30 seconds ago or so, <laughs> Ferris was uh, down by down two, by another two. winning. Yeah, wow. Getting a little awkward from Minnesota once again. Yeah, they definitely seem a lot less composed than they were at the start of this game. Uh, a little bit of that panic setting in, realizing that you just blew a two-goal lead. And yeah, their, their defense doesn't look nearly as solid as it was. They're kind of having to dive yeah, at they, a lot of these saves. As they look pretty timid here, but it looks like they're going to put one in, tie it up 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, and, uh, you know, from Ferris, I would have expected, uh, I think it was Barber, to be back post a little quicker. He was getting there, it was just a little late, and Minnesota capitalized on that one. And we're back to a tied game. 13 seconds left. Looking like uh, overtime is on the horizon. Unless. Gotta start knocking <laughs> on wood there. <laughs> uh, what a what a back and forth game here. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another goal go in before the end. But uh <laughs> We've seen a lot of Minnesota. goals happen in five seconds already, and there's seven left. <laughs> yeah. Uh Awkward touch. not a great kickoff for Ferris. They're gonna have to yeah, take this like one all the way down the down. field. Oh, it's up the wall the wall and now it's down yeah it's down that's that's unfortunate for ferris <laughs> just when they thought they had the win right what a comeback that was uh from you know losing three to one most of the game coming back in the last you know 40 seconds to a lead but tying and sadly losing at the end of that but it was a really well yeah uh, well played game from both sides uh, and I was going to say the one thing I wanted to see once Ferris was ahead um, was to make sure they weren't going to get overconfident, but don't let off the gas. You want to keep applying the pressure and make sure you follow through to the end of the game, because as you can see, it can turn around and you can lose just like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little heartbreaking there for Ferris, but you know, they <laughs> still have a chance. Best of five. They're not out of it yet. They just have to win the next three games. Which sounds hard, but it's been done before. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> they definitely made that one closer than the first one, so it's good to see them. Yep, and I was just a about bit. to add on to that and say, um, you know, coming from the first game to the second game, you could really see the confidence uh, step up, and hopefully, you know, even though losing the second game, they know that they can take the game, they can take this back and um, bring home the win. Oh, interesting. Uh, I just saw. Ferris subbing in Barber for Strafficker. 
So That's we'll see if that makes a big difference. I know uh, part of the reason he was not playing at the beginning is because he just got home after a long weekend and wasn't really warmed up, so he didn't feel ready to play. But uh, now it looks like he is ready to go. And maybe they've decided that bringing him in is the change they need to win this. And with that said, Sodi Popper sends one all the way from coast to coast into the other team's net, making it 1-0 Ferris at only 12 seconds in. So yeah, Minnesota looking to do almost the exact same thing back to him, but uh, Bogu's there to save it. Minnesota Struggling putting shots on net. And some close shots, and they, they almost overcommitted there, but luckily for them, they did not get counterattacked. And Royal with a uh, flip reset, I guess. It looked like the flip <laughs> reset, but uh, didn't quite need it to he finish got the off flip. that goal. <laughs> yeah, it was the fake flip reset. He, he just kind of got the flip reset and flipped away, let it float in. Oh, interesting oh, uh, kickoff tactics. <laughs> Both teams choosing to uh, go ahead for fakes. Yeah, and uh, I will say um, this game is looking a little bit more scrappy. <laughs> this, yep, Teams I was going to say this is looking a little more hesitant from Ferris and a little more confidence coming from Minnesota. Yeah, both teams I feel like are leaving a lot of space, uh, specifically Minnesota. I feel like they're sitting kind agree. of far back, and that's probably due to the fact that they almost they, they let three goals in in about 30 seconds last game, so they were like, oh, we got to tighten up this defense and stop letting them counterattack on us. We'll be coming up to play offense with zero boost. Yep, Sody Poppy seeing if he can do something with this. Uh, gets it out to Barber, who hits it off the corner for Bobby, who was not quite there. He waits for it to be cleared back to him. Um, awkward hit off the Ooh. side ball and an own goal. I don't think that was going in on its own. No, it was not. Um, unfortunate. Uh, Sody probably thought this was going in and just jumped at it. It was a split second reaction. Yep, and those and, are always uh, scary balls when you yeah. um, when you're on defense trying to stop the other team from having possession. So you go hit a strong hit off a wall, and sadly, it usually just comes back to the center, and they often get a very good shot on it, as was the case here. Yeah, a little bit of a double commit on defense there for Minnesota. Might leave uh, opening here for Ferris. That one's floating towards the net. Oh, awkward touches. Awkward save. Low boost on blue. Yeah, they're they're all low on boost. Ferris really needs to keep this ball on. It's a quick reset here. That's a good shot from Bobby. Gets saved by Haley. Sodi keeps it in. And uh, Ferris trying to make a push here. Uh, Haley not a girl. Coming. With that clear. Yeah, counterattack coming from Minnesota. That's a good pass in field. Gets blocked out. Uh, Royal sticking on the sidewall there to block Bobby's clear. And Ethan coming across, putting this ball back in the Ferris half. Barber gets a clear. It's only to Royal. Royal hits it up to Ivan, who is back waiting one. up there for the pass. Great catch from Sodi. He's going to bring this up the wall. It's, gets it out to the middle. None of his teammates are there, but it's not a great clear from Haley. And this one seems close for sure. Ferris has had their moments where they start to get a little bit of offensive pressure, and then it kind of just fizzles out and goes back in Minnesota's favor. Right. And I'll see a lot of... That was a very good demo. Good defense from Ferris, though. The biggest difference I see here between the two teams is that Minnesota seems to be very comfortable in the air. Um, and almost every time they're up in the air, Ferris has to kind of hold their own in defense. Uh, miscommunication there. Two of them go for corner boost, leaving the net open. And Minnesota puts another one away. Yeah, yeah, they definitely left that one open. I, I don't know how low they were, but even with zero boost, you probably could have saved that if you'd stayed there. But 
Uh, either way, it's a tough one. And uh, yeah, they should have communicated a little better there. Not both going for the same boost. Yep, still 3 uh, 1 you know, minutes in left. I was gonna say they've been down 3 1 before. Right. And uh, in every every game so far, they've been down 3 1 at some point. And the second one, they managed to bring it back for a little bit. But uh, we'll see if they can do it here. It's a good slow play by Sodi. Oh, but he gets bumped back into the ball and goes all the way back to the orange half. So that's gonna end any pressure that they were starting to build. But maybe Barbara back. Here. They got another count push here. Yeah, Minnesota's holding pretty strong on defense, though, and having to score two goals versus is going to have to push pretty hard here, and I, I I don't know. I'm not sure if I see that happening yet. Sody Poppy's going to try to make something that happen here. That's a good setup right here off the wall. Air dribble, bumps. A good control. That's a good save. Gotta it's hard, it's hard to defend those air dribbles please. like that. Right, yes it is. Yeah, so are you going for another one here? This might actually work. No, he didn't have any teammates there. That would have been the time to go all in. And right. clock goes down to zero. It's too late. And so uh, Minnesota is going to take the win here with the sweep over Ferris. Uh, just as soon as the ball touches the ground. They're doing pretty good keeping it up, though. And they Four put another the one in and make it four to one. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, another one for the road. <laughs> hey, nice, nice to see that everyone's a good sport and tried to keep the ball up as long as they could. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it's it's good Rocket League all around. Um, I would say it was a little bit one-sided, but it's still, you know, nice to see everybody out there trying to, I guess, do their best. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, they didn't get shut out. They scored goals right. every game. And they, you know, they got a little bit of something to be proud of, I guess. Going into this, they probably weren't expecting to be able to beat a team full of GCs, but they made it close for sure. Yeah, definitely game two will be one to look back on. Um, kind of just see what kind of, what did we do to make sure that we scored, you know, four goals against this team that we had struggled with in the games one and three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, so that's that's it for Rocket League for now. Uh, we have, uh, well, our B team now is one and one on their season. We'll see them again next week. And then for Ferris Esports at uh, nine o'clock, we'll be back with Overwatch. And then again at ten o'clock, we will be streaming Rocket League A team, which Hoganator will be playing for. So good luck yes. to you and. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to our Overwatch team as well. So stay tuned in for that.